Hi guys, welcome Hello. back to our channel. Um, today we've got basically the same video that we did for how to reserve park entry at Walt Disney World, but how to do it for Disneyland Paris. Mm -hmm. So there are a couple of differences with the Disneyland Paris one. If you are staying on site in an on site hotel, you do not need to reserve your entrance to the park. Yeah. You can just have your ticket and turn up. Um, the other change as well is that Disneyland Paris have introduced a dated ticket. Mm -hmm. So you can get a ticket for a specific date and if your ticket has a specific date printed on it, you don't need to reserve entry to the park. Everyone else though, so annual pass holders, general people with tickets, um, if they're staying off site, yep. will need to reserve. So this is how you actually go about reserving entrance into Disneyland Paris. So as you might expect, Park reservations are made on the Disneyland Paris website. When you go into the site, a box appears in the top right hand corner with an orange register now button. If I just zoom in, there you go, you can be able to see that a bit better. Um, so if that appears, you can just click on the orange button. If the orange button doesn't appear, you can still get to the page by clicking on before you arrive and Disneyland Paris reopening. If you scroll down, you'll then see the registration details or alternatively, we'll leave a link down below in the description box to take you straight to the Disneyland Paris reservation page. So once you click to go into the reservation system, you'll be taken to one of two screens. You'll either see an animation of Big Thunder Mountain, which is how the virtual queuing is done, or you'll go straight through to the reservation registration screens. There is a mountain of information on this first reservation screen, covering every ticket type and specific rules for if you are accompanying someone to the parks who has a disability. So I would recommend reading through these sections. There are a couple of pieces of information that aren't shown on this screen, but they are shown later in the process, which I think personally they should be shown here as well. So I'm just going to point them out now. Firstly, only the first person to link a ticket can then use it on an account to reserve entry into the park. Secondly, it can take 24 hours after you purchase a ticket for you to be able to register it on an account. And finally, if you have bought an annual pass online, until you have completed your first visit, you'll not be able to reserve multiple days entry to the parks. Instead, you'll only be able to register for one day. Once you've used your pass though, you'll then be able to reserve multiple days. So obviously, if you're planning a holiday and using a new annual pass, it's something to keep in mind as you may be unable to reserve the additional days of your holiday if the park reaches capacity. Okay, so back to the reservation screen. There are two buttons on this page, check park availability and register now. We'll start by clicking on park availability, which shows whether there are any spaces available to book. If it shows as green for the date, it means that there are spaces and gray means that there are no spaces available. You'll notice that there's two buttons, one for annual pass and one for ticket holders. And when you click on either one of those, the calendar underneath changes and shows different availability. This is because Disneyland Paris have decided to split their capacity between annual pass holders and non-annual pass holders. So as you can see here, for the opening weekend, annual pass holder reservations have completely sold out. But if you were just a ticket holder, you could still reserve a space. Now that we know the availability, we can go back a page and start the registration. So to start the registration, click on register now. If you have previously created an account on the Disneyland Paris website, but you haven't logged into the account since the 25th of February 2020, you need to reset the password using the need help signing in link. If you have never had an account, or you no longer have access to the email address you used when you signed up originally, you can click on Create Account. In the Create Account section, you will just need to enter your name, email address, create a password, enter your date of birth and set your communication preferences. You'll also need to check your home country or region is showing correctly. Once you've created an account, you'll probably need to go back to the registration screen and click register now again. I personally already had an account, so I just clicked on the need help link 
A code was then emailed to me and I could reset my password. The email did go through to my spam folder, so make sure you check in yours. Once you've reset your password and logged in, or you've created an account and logged in, you'll be at the register tickets or passes screen. Again, there is some really useful information on these screens, which you should definitely read. It talks about wearing masks and what you would need to enter the parks. If you click on the register tickets or passes button, you'll be taken to a list of your tickets or passes. Don't worry if it's empty, it just means you'll need to add them. So on this screen, you'll see the ticket information that I talked about earlier. So if your tickets and passes are showing up, you won't need to add them and instead you can just select them and click continue. But if like me, your tickets or passes aren't showing up, click the link another ticket or pass button. You'll then be presented with a box for you to enter your ticket or annual pass number. Only once the system recognises a valid ticket number will the continue button become clickable. So if you bought your ticket within the last 24 hours, the system may not accept the number and allow you to actually click continue. You can add multiple tickets by clicking on add another ID number. So one person can manage a family booking. Just remember though, once the ticket is registered to the account, it cannot be moved. Once you've added all the tickets or passes that you want, click on continue. Any tickets or passes that are assigned to a named individual will display that person's name. To add the ticket to your account, tick the box stating you own or are responsible for the ticket and wish to add it to your account and then click confirm. Again, just to reiterate, once the ticket or pass is added to your account, this cannot be undone. After you click confirm, if the ticket or tickets are successfully linked, the site will tell you so and allow you to reserve a space in the park. So to actually reserve a space in the park, click on the register for entry to the parks section. Your tickets or passes should now all be listed. So all you do is select the ones that you want to use by clicking the box next to them and then clicking continue. You'll then get the same calendar view that you saw in the check availability section. As I'm an annual pass holder, I see the annual pass calendar, including the annual pass dates that are already at capacity. As Disneyland Paris are splitting their capacity between annual pass holders and non-annual pass holders, you won't be able to reserve slots for a mix on the same booking. You'd have to do a booking for annual pass holders and then a booking for non-annual pass holders. So to book, you just simply click any date in green that you wish to go. At the moment, you can only book up to the 30th of October 2020, and that's been the case since the reservation system opened. I'm not sure what the timescales that they're looking for booking are because it's not moved on any dates at all. Once you've selected the date you wish to visit, you'll see it just says Disney Parks all day. You don't have to specify a time of entry or a park. Once you have the date selected, click Continue. A review page shows what you will be booking along with the email address the confirmation will go to. If you're happy with the reservation details, tick the box to confirm you've read and accepted the terms and conditions and then click continue. And this will actually register your place. You'll then be taken to a page confirming your booking. If you click on view my reservations, you'll be able to view all of the days you have park entry booked and you'll also be able to resend the confirmation email, which you will need to actually get into the park. And finally, if your plans change and you need to cancel your reservation, you can do this by clicking on the cancel reservation button. Cancelling is really simple. You just click the cancel button, check the information shown and click confirm cancellation in the pop up box. You'll get an email confirming the cancellation and then you can simply click close on the pop up and go back to the booking days or cancel any other reservations. So that was it. I was hope that would be uh, informative for people uh, yeah. and help you book your tickets, book your reservations even. If you have any questions, leave them down below and we'll try and help. Yeah. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike. Hit the subscribe button. Pew pew. Hit the, hit the notification bell pew pew. <laughs> and the short do the YouTube stuff. Do you, the YouTube stuff. You get me every time with that. <laughs> <laughs> and thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.